Bogarts will lead it off. Bogarts has had a big series. The four for eight, couple of runs scored. Moreland and then Young will follow. 333 batting average for the Red Sox shortstop. Gosman's delivery oh. to him, and he didn't mean to do that. Oh, he oh, threw him out of the game. You've got to be kidding me. You he threw him out of the game. On. Oh, you're. Now remember, there were no warnings given, so this is a decision by the home plate umpire that the pitcher threw at him intentionally. There were no warnings given. On a slider, a 77 mile per hour slider that backs up on a cold night. Sam, get it right, Sam. Come on. It's too late, though. You can beg and you do whatever, but this is all about what happened last night. And what happened in Baltimore? You know, Caleb Joseph knows he wasn't trying to hit him with a backup slider. No, I mean I. Yeah, but I really, I try, yeah. we always try and be fair about these yeah. things. Obviously, with a slant, a little, but but there is no way Kevin Gosman wanted to hit him. But now, you know, and and again, not Sam Holbrook's been around a long time. But there are umpires, and there are people in the baseball world, maybe not never pitched. But they think sometimes the way you get around throwing it, guys, is to actually throw a breaking ball. But please, you know, we had Sale throwing 97, Barnes throwing 96, Rodrigo try, Rodriguez trying to hit him, Bundy plunked the bets. At the end of the day, it's a cold night. This is the first breaking ball he throws. And watch. I mean, it just backs up. And he throws him out. I, that's a knee jerk reaction. And again, it really hurts the Orioles. That's the bottom line here. You got your starter. Now somebody's going to have to pitch. Bogart says, you know what? I could have got hit at 98. I'll take it. It's we, a slider. And you could see Kevin trying to plead his case, but he's gone. We just cannot get this series yeah. back to baseball. No. Well, just but that's accidental. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. Oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Completely agree. Yeah, so why didn't Sale get thrown out last night? I'm sure Manny's saying. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, that. And once it gets done, and there's Gibson talking to the Manny. Obviously, there's nothing that the umpire can do about the sales situation. Well, he could, have, he could have thrown him out because that's pretty night. obvious. Yeah, yeah. And he will. I think he will get suspended based on what Joe Torre said today. Sale, there he is. Will probably pick up a suspension, although none was none was announced today. Well, Joe somebody, Torrey said uh, it looked like it was intentional regarding the hit of Machado, the the pitch by Sale to Machado. When he throws the ball behind somebody, unless it's a rainy day, I don't see that being by mistake. That was Joe Torrey commenting today. Well, this is just a disaster. Well, I don't, <laughs> I don't think they can change their mind. No. Because, no. but at the end of the day, Gosman's got to yeah. be really disappointed. And they could cheer. I mean, I mean, this obviously, these are Red Sox fans. They have every right to think that he threw at him, but he didn't. Yeah, and he's going, you know, but they, they never played the game. It's not the way you hit somebody. So the Orioles are going to have to go to the bullpen for virtually the entire game for at least eight innings. Well, didn't you do that interview with Richard Blyer? I wonder if he'll yes. be the long guy. And he's the long and middle and short left hander. Out of the bullpen, and there he is. The Blyer. The Blyer is going to warm up a bit, and he'll come on. Now Buck has not been thrown out because there was no warning to the clubs. The manager isn't automatically thrown out if you have a hit batter like that. Had there been warnings given. And the umpire rules a pitcher hit a batter intentionally. Then both. But at are the gone. end of the day, if you're Sam Holbrook, you still and I know it's it's a spur of the moment decision. You have to make a decision. If if you know, understand the game and umpires, you know, I mean that's what you do for a living. It was a backup slider. It's the first one he threw. Jim, I mean, and he hit him in the hip. It wasn't around the head. I, I couldn't I, agree I more. Know, you it, know, it's but a it's, bad, it's done. It's a bad call. Yeah. And I think an unnecessary one. But this thing just goes on and on and on. So Buck will talk with Blyer here as he comes out of the bullpen. This is going to be his first appearance for the Orioles since being called up 
That's Chris Sale, of course, awaiting word on whether he's going to be suspended. So Blyer, the left-hander, talk with uh, Caleb. He'll take his warm-up tosses, and we're only in the second inning. No score. <laughs> 